Western New York is a national leader in vegetable production and the largest vegetable producing region in the state of New York. We grow a diverse set of crops including tomatoes, potatoes, sweet corn, pumpkins, cabbage, and peppers on large acres, and another 50 crops in smaller plantings. The vegetable industry in Western New York, which includes fresh market produce and processing, contributes an estimated $280 million to the state's economy every year. Here in Western New York, we are blessed with rich soils, a favorable climate, and experienced farmers. We have farms that range in size from several thousand acres to just a few, from biodynamic growers to conventional. We have families who have been farming for five generations and others that are just starting out. Regardless of the scale of the operation or their level of experience, the Cornell Vegetable Program works with growers to improve their production practices, the safety of their produce, and their impact on the land. My name is Steve Reiners. I work in all aspects of vegetable culture, soil fertility, variety evaluation, and part of my job is working with Extension. I've been serving as a team leader for the Cornell Vegetable Program since it started in 2004. We have people on the program with wonderful expertise. Christy Hopedang. I am an onion specialist. I also specialize in cabbage, and I've been working more with broccoli and garlic in recent years. Our motto with the Cornell Vegetable Program is your trusted source of research-based knowledge. And that is something that I take very seriously. I address my growers' needs through field research. Judson Reed, I'm a greenhouse and high tunnel vegetable specialist. I conduct research and education on the production of greenhouse crops such as tomatoes, cucumbers, and winter greens. I work with growers on pest and disease management and nutrient management inside of high tunnels and greenhouses. Carol McNeil, I specialize in the production and pest management of potatoes and dry beans, and I also work on soil health. Today I was scouting potatoes for late blight, a potentially devastating disease of potatoes and tomatoes. When I find late blight out in a grower's field, I will tell them what to do to take care of the problem. Darcy Talenko, Fresh Market Vegetable Production. My job is to help educate farmers in our area. Generally when I'm out here, we're looking at all the different crops and we're scouting for insect disease or weed pressures and uh, trying to come up with uh, management options that are available. Julie Kickert. The focus of my work is research and education to support the processing vegetable industry, which is very large in Western New York. I conduct research and educational programs to help keep the industry strong. Robert Haddad, Fresh Market Regional Specialist. I work with, with growers of all sizes from, from very small and beginner all the way up to multi-generational farms uh, that have hundreds, not thousands of acres. As an educator, it's exhilarating, it's challenging, uh, it's, it, it's never the same, it's always something different. One of my roles as team leader is to make sure we connect the faculty that are on campus, both in Geneva and Ithaca, with the Extension educators. That connection helps with grants, it helps with our research, and most especially, it really makes that connection to the growers and the industry that much stronger. My brother and I are third generation onion farmers in the Elba area here. We farm about uh, 200 acres of onions, and uh, we work very closely with Cornell Vegetable Program all season long. Uh, right from the moment we start putting seeds in the ground, we speak with Christy at least once a week. She's uh, an integral part of uh, helping us grow a quality crop and helping us, you know, make a living and pay the bills. We've been working uh, very closely with Extension for a number of years. Robert's been a big help with us with late blight issues and tomatoes and potatoes. Christy's been very helpful with us with a weekly scouting program. And Judd's been a big help with us with this uh, high tunnel that's behind us here. This tunnel is full of grape and cherry tomatoes. We've never seen anything this good. It's been a huge success for us. We've always had an extension agents in the area, and it's been a very good relationship for us. You miss them when they're not around. You hate when they go on vacation. Some of the educational seminars have been great with the help of extension. We've cut down our sprays on some crops from five or six times a year to two or three times a year with softer material. And I've learned to use the beneficial insects out there to my advantage. So there are many issues that our growers in Western New York are facing. There's issues with labor. There's issues with marketing. And of course, there's many, many issues with pests, insects, diseases, and weeds. And in addition to working on the crops, they're also working on, on larger aspects of vegetable production in the state. We have programs in soil health and soil quality. 
We have programs in food safety, ensuring that anything that's being produced in Western New York is safe. It's extremely important for the buyers. We're reaching out to new farmers, organic farmers, and to Mennonite growers. These are groups that really weren't included so much in Extension 15 years ago. The Cornell Vegetable Team plays an integral role in all aspects of vegetable production in Western New York. The team's efforts contribute to the economic development of the region, as well as to the availability of healthy and affordable vegetables to communities throughout New York State. The Cornell Vegetable Program ensures that our growers will be ready for anything that comes down the line in the future.